Welcome, everyone, to the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. We are live on MajorMarks.com, where you're listening Friday or you're watching Saturday on YouTube. I'm your host, the internet champion, the indie god, the deathmatch king, the man who eliminated Brian Myers. <laughs> and the call your shot, Battle Royal, Matt Cardona. Unbelievable. You forgot. Carney, son of a bitch, in there with all those monikers. <laughs> and I'm your host, the most professional wrestler, TNA wrestling star. Well, not yet, good. right? Not yet. Guys, come on. Okay. I'm the goddamn MVP of that place. All right. And the Scotty Pippen of wrestling figure collecting. Brian Myers, what's up, everybody? I'm also your producer of the show, Smart Mark Sterling Esquire, the most famous professional wrestling lawyer. And this show is brought to you by our good friends, Ringside Collectibles. Use code MAJOR to save 10%. Got a huge ringside shipment. Got 10 figures in. Just opened them today on YouTube Live. I got one figure. We're going to talk about it later in the show. A little broski basic review here. (laughs) This is uh, LA Night. Um, I'll talk about it later in the show. I'm pleasantly surprised and impressed with the new basics. So, um, yep. Make sure you follow us on social media, X, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, and subscribe to this podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Leave a review, not just any review, but a major review. If we read your review on air, you will get a little prize. This one comes from... Chris Grocock, best last name in the biz. Oh, Joseph, baby. 316, guys. Sung to Everything I Do by Brian Adams. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's there go. Is. I, I think th- I need to send it to Brian to sing because I, I don't think, know the cadence. I think Mr. Sterling needs to take this one for once because he is the ultimate Prince of Thieves man. I, I mean, I love it. I to but both you guys because Mark has I don't a goddamn know. I don't know enough about the movie or the song to really get oh the cadence down properly. But yeah, of course it's not, not. just one it, verse. You watched it on an iPhone last week. You couldn't have appreciated it. All right, ready, all right. Here we go. It? Here we go. This is your big moment, Mark. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Look into my man cave. You will see. Seventeen D tops. Search the pegs. Shop ringside. <laughs> and when you find figs there, you know you buy. Don't tell me they're not worth paying for. <laughs> oh. You can't tell me they're not worth hunting for. You know it's true. Every fig I buy, I buy it for me. <laughs> <laughs> There's way it's more. Beautiful. I, I just wiped the wipe, wipe a tear. Away. <laughs> just wiped a tear away. There's a whole thing. Hey, Chris Grocock. Unbelievable. If you will sing this whole thing, we'll play it next week. We can't do the whole thing, but it's an incredible, <laughs> incredible review. And Mark, never sing again. That was. Yeah. <laughs> you might have got yourself. Fired from them ever doing Holy it again. Oh, come on. That was great. thrilled about that, that but great. damn. That was great. Man. Guys, the giveaway every single week, courtesy of Ringside Collectibles. Or because the voice of an angel says Chris Risley. Yeah, I'm not right. quite sure about that. Find the pinned post on X. Repost it to be eligible to win. The winner of that Chris Statlander is, uh-oh. Oh. I didn't save it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, F- no. Find that text. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is great audio. Yeah. Any, actually, anybody. Oh, got it. Got it. I got it. Okay. The winner is at CJax420617. He's into pro wrestling, collecting horror movies, and the devil's lettuce. I don't know. If that, is that weed? <laughs> Come on, man. What are I you a, Hey, by the a way. Grandma? You're a grandma? You didn't know what that meant? Today I was at the gym. Someone handed me a Zack Ryder lighter. Yeah, Something why I never do before. He's like walking up to him, like, what the fuck does this guy want? Right? I take my headphones out and he hands me the Zack Ryder lighter that he said he just found it at some gas station. So I appreciate like, it. He bought it like today at a gas station? 
I guess in the past week and knew he was going to see me. I thought he was going to see me at the gym and just. That's and it's someone I, I've never seen him at the gym before. <laughs> Maybe he's probably like a champion in NXT, and you just don't know who he is. That's also might be the case. <laughs> 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 a champion in NXT. But anyway, the giveaway Give this coming. week: find the pin post, uh, repost it. Is Wheeler Yuta Blood and Guts? Ooh, AEW that's a great ringside prize, man. Exclusive. So great nice. little prize. Courtesy of Ringside Collectibles, patreon.com slash Major Pod. Not The Undertaker's Patreon, our Patreon, patreon.com slash Major Pod. Hey, Mark, you see that? What up, dude? Undertaker's copying us with his own Patreon. You know, when you sent me that link, I was prepared to open it and see tier one, $300. Tier no, two, $700. Prices. That's oh, very, really? Really? Oh, wow. very reasonable. Very reasonable. I think like, he missed, I, I don't, he missed an opportunity to have that six feet under. Like, eh, he could, it should have been called What Up, Dead. <laughs> <laughs> what Up, what dude? Up, with Mark Galloway, that would have been ruled. Yeah, true. Anyway, so. He has no idea major... about the What Up, Dead, right? I don't Not think he has no. ever heard it. But, today, no, I... but fans have had him inscribe it at signings. Well, today on Whatnot, I sold that, that Peg Warm and Undertaker Legends because I realized I didn't need it. And I signed it, What Up, Dead? Matt Cardona and got like over retail for it. So. <laughs> of course you did. Anyway, majormarks.com, patreon.com slash major to pod, the fan club, the subscription service, community, the family. Every week we give away a prize to a new and old subscriber. Who do we got, Mark? Uh, first time in the line, Eli Haskell, classic superstar, Brandon Holworth. I know Brandon. Oh, yeah. Old school. Congrats. Nice. Guys. You get this podcast, video form, audio form, early and ad free, access to the Facebook group. Uh, the Hard Foundation Up gets a card every single month. The uh, the Chelsea Green cards are shipping. Everyone's gotten their, their blue cane. Blue auto cane autographs are finally in America in the hands of the fans. So only a couple <laughs> more days to sign up to get the October mystery card. There's a chance one of 100 uh, will be autographed. Also, ultimate tier, you get to get the podcast live every single Monday or whenever we record it. And this is the month to get the quarterly gift. It's going to be an amazing gift. I promise you guys are going to love it. So many bonus pods. We did the Robin Hood, uh, Prince of Thieves. We God. did the review. The, I'm still uh, reeling from that Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Did you see someone in the Facebook group said, I was listening to the whole podcast confused, and then I realized... He watched Men in Tights. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> that's somebody that was who was smoking the devil's lettuce and oh not realizing what God. that was going on. Also, we had a great <clears throat> one-hour-long interview with Lash Larue. Guys, I don't know Lash. Met him one time. I think Brian met him once or never met him. Never met. A- I met him on Zoom a couple minutes ago. Yeah. It was unreal. I shook his hand once. So. Hour long combo. I thought he was going to be great. pulling teeth, but we could have went another hour. I think you it guys are really going to love the story. Gentleman and a, just an awesome outlook on life and the wrestling business, and just yes. like great positive vibes as an individual, right? Yeah, I think you guys got to check that out. Um, <laughs> I wanted to tell this story, but he was going so good, I didn't want to interrupt him and like take over the spotlight. But WrestleMania 24, I went out with a bunch of the guys like Sammy Callahan, Fandango. Just, just I think Papa Bear Paul just smashed bar hopping. Not twenty four. Uh, I was gonna say twenty four in, in Miami. What was that one? Twenty eight. Twenty eight. There we go. The one that you get kicked in the nuts. Twenty eight. Yeah. So we were bar hopping during during the week one night, and we go we get to this bar, and uh, this guy comes up to me. And this is two thousand twelve. Like I'm on WWE television. You know, not every night, but. Yeah. I've been on WWE Superstar for a while. So guy goes, I know who you are. I'm like, okay. And he goes, you're Lash LaRue. <laughs> <laughs> and I, ha- I already have like a little bit of buzz. And I want to say like Dango was like dying or whatever. And I went, you got me, man. You caught me. And he was like, I'm on to you, whatever. So then he was, it was like one of those bars with like dead center. And it was like a big bar. And he was on the other side. And he kept sending like, drinks and shots to us and every time i'd thank him and i'd do the lash thing and stuff i never <laughs> i never told him but like it was a pretty unreal experience <laughs> yeah. that's great so you got a bunch of drinks because people thought you were last in a row. but it just was nice. like wait you thought it was this re- guy who's been retired for like over 10 years well i'm on tv but i just went with it and reaped the benefits well yeah. i think so you thanks guys lash 
I think you guys are going to love the interview. Other bonus podcasts, we have Let Him Breathe with me, where I do the weekly unboxings, The Silver Linings with Mark, Figure Dissecting with D Freedom, uh, The Captain's Log with Joe Shoes, and, oh baby, Heath's Happy Hour. Uh, what did you and Heath talk about this month? Have you even recorded it? We haven't yet, but this month, or this episode is a... Um Ask Heath Anything episode. We're going to kind of go back and forth. So we're going to do a, an Ask Heath Anything, and then the, we're going to do a topic, and then Ask Heath Anything. So God. this month is he Ask about Heath. died yesterday at the Impact tapings. Did he have to wrestle a full match? Bro, him versus Moose. Oh, no. He gets shit canned, like, you know, getting eliminated from Royal Rumble. Yeah. yeah. But he missed the ropes and the ring. <laughs> so he basically did, like, the Undertaker dive onto nobody. <laughs> What? Bro, and it was he landed right at my feet and I just looked we locked eyes and like <laughs> yo, I literally had like the sympathy for him, like equivalent to like when one of my kids like trips and falls and I'm like, Oh, are you okay? I was like, Gee, what the I was like, Why did you do that? And he just looked up to me, he couldn't even speak and he was like oh. Like it was like I felt so bad for him, bro. Oh my god! You well, could Mark, tell like his yeah. soul was gone. I'll ask yeah. him about that. Oh, yeah, I'll also ask him how he banged me at uh, Bow for Glory. He did give you the bang, yeah, but he I banged me. him there too properly. Oh, nice, man. Well, let's talk about it. Impact, Bound for Glory. R- real quick, little... I'm sorry. Did did I miss? Did you mention the the blue cane carts? I did. Yes, I did with with the Patreon. Okay, good. Yeah. everyone's got them. Right? Blue cane autographs are in people's hands. We can all finally. Rest in peace. Finally, from the depths of blue hell. That's there right. we go. So, Impact Bound for Glory this past weekend. I made a little surprise key. Major player reunion. We're fucking eliminating everybody. I think Brian had a. I, I broke the record. Tom record. Hannafin told me the next day I hold the record for the most wow. eliminations well, in Gauntlet for the Gold history. Which is what, we, what? What was it like? I forgot what number. Seven or eight or something. I can't remember. a lot. Yeah. But we, we, we dumped out a lot of people, and then I threw Brian out. DTA, don't Car- trust nobody. It's a carny, carny piece of shit. Scumbag. Uh, the same carny piece of shit I've known for 20 years. But I, I didn't know thinking. this happened until people were asking me about it in the stream. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, yeah. then Jordan. Well, I mean, we, 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 we had a hell of a run there. We were wreaking havoc. Yeah. Right. But, and uh, the, the ultimate carny in me kept my Indie God shirt on the whole time so I could sell it and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I was waiting for the Hulk rip. No, no. We also had a meeting point. before, and they said no middle finger. And I said, "Well, Broski's down to move." They almost—it's like, yeah. like neutering a dog. Can't yeah. do that to me. No middle finger. <laughs> Broski was like, "Shit, I'm well, down to I move." Mean, you can't—you can't powder. That takes it away. Another move. Yeah, yeah. No yeah you're fingers. really handcuffed in this one. And I didn't rip the shirt off, do the rip shirt choke. So three of my moves. Oh my down. god! Sorry, pal. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, all right, so we got some other follow up. Bruno San Martino. Was supposed to be in that best of legends line, has now been moved to the main line. Right. A regular, Let, elite he'll be in a target. A, oh, a regular. I thought he's going to the legends, a regular legend, or a regular elite. Oh, now I'm confused. Me too. Huh? Me either. either oh, way. there he oh, is. Oh, shit. Hit it, Mark. Hit it. Get it! Hey, guys. Steve was uh, on a recent podcast, did a recent interview, and he said that it's going to be moved to a 2024 line. Uh, probably he didn't give a specific uh, wave because he didn't have the schedule in front of him, but it's going to be in the main elite collection line. So, wow. Yeah. To and be honest, they, that figure was pretty different compared totally, to all these they, other they, re-releases. They so. never switched paint app. Like, not like that. Yeah. Not that drastic, right? And it's really just going from blue to green, but that's still drastic enough. Right. And it has uh, pinless elbows and uh, digital hands. inkjet uh, face printing. So and and hands, the old one didn't have oh, yeah. changeable yeah. hands. I don't know if I'm going to get it because in my mind, Bruno is in is blue. Blue, right? Yeah, that's like an odd color to me. Unless Steve finds some crazy research where he wore green. I'm sure he's worn eighty five percent of the time. I know he's worn I green. I close my eyes. I think LJN. I think blue. And any like time I think of like Bruno that I've watched, it's that. But what do you think, D? Do I, I go with the blue. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to go with the blue. All, All right. right. Well, D, I'm sure we'll be popping in uh, throughout the episode, but that's why we have D Freedom. He knows all the things. I feel like he's know. like the fucking Statler and Waldorf of our show. Like, <laughs> Right? He's great. I fucking love yeah. him. No, he's the, um, he's the stat man. Yeah. By the way, Patrick Garth says you rip the, whole, the shirt in half and then sell the two halves. I can't do that. Well, when it rips, it doesn't rip in half. It just rips down the front, and it's, it's just, just it's front. almost like one giant piece. Yeah. 
Uh, actually, we might need the freedom for this too. The three phases of Foley have been postponed. So it's not going to come out. Maybe it was supposed to come out this year. Now it's coming out next year. I think it is because of the packaging and stuff. Yeah, they have to read. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's just, just been pushed back a few months. That's all. Was well, it supposed to come out in 2023? Well, I think it's because Mick didn't want the packaging the way it was going to come. It was going to. There could have been complications. Moments. There could have been Style. complications. I don't think details were yeah. revealed in terms of that. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, rumor just, on the street is Bill McKenna had a heart attack when he saw the soft goods tie dye because it was actual tie dye. So they're gonna. Wow. When, it, when it comes, it comes. Scratch. Yeah, when it comes, I'm, it I'm comes. super into this this three pack. I just I wish. Love it. I wish it was like the WWF Cactus Jack and not the ECW one. It's like WCW Cactus, right? Well, even okay, then even, even worse. more. <laughs> I, I see what they're doing but like it's been so long since we had one of those i think we only have one technically and it's that yes, ringside that cactus jack, which is years old one. yeah no bang hands yeah when i think of three faces of foley i think of those three versions not the yeah. wcw yeah like the, the, the 98 WCW. version beggars can't be choosers but at least we're finally getting our accurate dude love so mm. that's good New portraits, I believe, uh, across uh, all three characters. I'm pretty, pretty sure, wow, unless, unless cool. the unless the dude love is using the existing one from the uh, was that Elite sixty two. So, huh. hmm. well, also Jeremy Bedauer, our good friend Jeremy, the man whose butt I want to lick. toy maker of the year. He just posted. We've seen this before, but he posted the original concept art for what the classic superstars box was gonna look like and that's him he drew it on is that a back of an eight by ten i'm not sure <laughs> <laughs> that's how i take all my notes and listen people don't give him enough credit man legit These toy classic history man. superstars not only did they change the wrestling figure business they changed the wrestling business the wrestling business nostalgia was never a thing people you know they weren't buying dvds about the old timers they weren't buying merch about the old timers because the company wasn't celebrating the past and, and Jeremy convinced them that there was a market and boy, was he right? I mean, he basically got <laughs> ultimate warrior Bret Hart back into the WWE. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know? It's crazy. So, to think about that. It's uh, and, you know, we gotta, we gotta respect and the them. current AEW jazz verse packaging is a little wink and a nod to this. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, but he was supposed and to be one of the main things he's kept series. along is the, the fact that it's uniform. I mean, he's always talked about he wanted the uniform packaging. If you put it all together, it's all the same. And that's I a really do. cool part. There of is something AEW. very much to appreciate about that when you're a collector, yes. Yeah. And and we kind of copying that for our big rubber guys. As of now, they're all going to be the same. I'm sure we're going to do certain exclusives that are, are special. But right now, and even our bendies are all the same except for the, the wacky exclusives. Like the mainline bendies. We haven't... Uh, Oh yeah, the mainline bendies are all. Um, Main- we haven't figured out Andre's packaging too. That might. I, I thought know. it was just going to be the same thing, just a little bigger. Hopefully. Uh, speaking of Andre, guys, if you're listening Friday, today is the last day this is it. to pre-order your Macho Man Randy Savage, your Andre the Giant Big Rubber Guys Major Pod Merch dot com. The Andre has the. The variant in the blue. It's not a chase. You could order both. Uh, it's Macho Man in the classic yellow bandana. I'm sorry, orange bandana, orange trunks, yellow uh, boots and knee pads. Andre the Giant. He's standing up tall. Uh, do we have the pictures of what the the hand painted prototypes are? I mean, look at that right there. That Macho Man. I think is a big time improvement from the LJN, and the LJN is my favorite Macho Man. Well, so if you're your, looking your at guy. the picture right now... Man, I, I can't believe how they did him dirty on his quads now that I'm looking at this. Right? Little leg ski over there. Oh, no. But that, that LJN is iconic, but I feel like this one is even more iconic, and if you're looking at it, that's a hand-painted resin, so they're a little bit taller. The paint doesn't quite uh, stick to the resin like it will on rubber. It's yeah. going to be incredible. Show them the Andre the Giant, Mark. Do we have the comparison of the, the Andre next to the Andre that I sent you? Yeah, give me a second. Keep talking. Yeah, so we have the Andre and the Macho. What's special about this Andre is that he's not bent over at the knees like the typical LJN was. He's standing tall. He's going to be taller than all of your LJNs. And also, the strap, the singlet, is molded. It's not just painted 
Like, like, and I get why they did it, you know, cross cutting. Yeah. It made sense at the time, of course. But we wanted to improve on that, make Andre larger than life, and check him out. He is huge. And like I said, this is a hand painted prototype, so the skin color looks a little weird right now because it's on resin. It's hand painted on resin. Um, and if you've been sleeping on this line, I don't know what you've what you've been waiting for. I mean, the Matt and Brian, they're in they were in sock. <laughs> they're, they're sold out now. Demolition or shipping. Demolition themselves said these were the greatest demolition figures ever. And we just got samples in hand of Sergeant Slaughter, Marty Janetti, and Ric Flair. Mark, do you have that image? I said, God, I mean, that, look that flair at that. is so sexy, bro. I mean, those have the shine. These look just like LJNs, Man. in my opinion. The Marty Janetti is incredible. I know people are saying, why'd you make Marty if there wasn't Sean? Listen, it was, <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do, right? Yeah. And, and if anything, it's a love letter to the real LJNs because there was Axe Without Smash and Warlord yeah, Without Barbarian. Uh, yeah. The Sergeant Slaughter directly copied from my unreleased prototype and Flair is our way of extending the LJN uh, family by including non-WWF, WWE wrestlers. And we thought, hey, if we're going to do Flair, this is Brian's suggestion. I was against it. Now I support it. Let's do him in one of his classic podium promo looks. And I don't think it gets more classic and iconic than this. God, oh, the best. looks so cool. And, you know, I want to thank TTD for his incredible artwork, D Freedom for going back and forth, helping us improve, Brian Beatty, who's been sculpting these, and Knick, who's working his ass off behind the scenes. So, Major Bendy's big rubber guys. We have big, big plans, Man. no pun intended, for, for 2024. But this is so the cool. last, last day, if you're listening Friday, to get the Macho Man and Andre, because that is it. That's the order. That's it. The pre-order is the order. We say it all the time. But, yes. Uh, so, if you miss out. You literally missed out. Right. So, and I, I'm not going to spoil. Uh, actually, I guess we can spoil. We've talked about it. We've posted about it. Who's going to be the pre order in December? It's been pretty it's public. <laughs> the British Bulldogs, uh, Davy Boy Smith, uh, and Don My Kid with Matilda. Now, guys, you're looking at hand painted prototypes again. Uh, the Matilda will fit in Davy's arms. The, the Dynamite might be. My favorite big rubber guy we've done. It looks But great, I right? promise you guys this. Uh, we've been hearing you guys. Why are you making guys who've had LJS? Well, guys, we're trying to build an actual toy line. And as much as I want Bad News Brown, you can't. You just say, hey, guys, we have a new toy line. Bad News Brown, Series 1. Yeah. It's like, just, and also, not like LJNs are that accessible, bro. Like, I mean, <laughs> right. a good condition LJN is not something you just see every day. Like, so... Even if you wanted to have that collection, it's, it's going to take a lot of work. So we're bringing yeah. this other options to people, you know, starting yes. a collection, like you said. And we're trying to attract, of course, the diehards like ourselves. So listen, I promise we're going to try to get Bad News Brown in there, Powers of Pain, the guys who were supposed to be in that last set. But it's a business. <clears throat> we got to do Macho Man. We got to do Ric Flair, Andre the Giant, uh, you know, the most popular superstars to get people invested in the line. And then, yeah, we'll throw in Bad News Brown. Stuff like that. But I will say this. Who we have planned for uh, February of 2024, if it all happens, I think it's going to shock a lot of people and people are going to be blown away. So I'm very excited about that. But thank you to anyone who's ever bought uh, a Big Rubber Guy. But this is the one to get. Macho Man, Islander Giant. Trust me, I'm telling you. costs a lot of money to get these guys. So (laughs) please. Help us out. Let's let's make some money It doesn't get bigger than Macho Man and Andre. Like If you're you're going to get in, get in, man. Get in. Right now, um, hey Chris Girlcock oh. says just got his notification oh, that his shoes yeah. bendy shipping. So I, all those new new, new bendies, SDL has been delivering um, the, the merch table. Uh, Matt, Brian, and Mark, both SDLs, the Omega level toys and comics SDL, the one that was just on MajorPodMerch.com, the Joe Shoes MajorPodMerch.com. So. Um, Next week, we'll talk about, we have a, nec- a new series dropping in November for Major Bendy's, but I don't want to spoil all that. Let's get these Macho Man and Andre orders in, and then oh, we'll yeah. bombard you with more stuff you got to buy from us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, uh, can that, I, that's, let me, that's, let, that's all let, I have for follow-up. Do you guys cool. have anything? Nope. Well, actually, I'll, I'll just mention something about, about that merch table thing. And I've mentioned before, it's, it's on the package. It's, it's Twitch exclusive, and a lot of people have asked uh, like how I'm going to do that. So I am live every Wednesday. Uh, barring any unforeseen circumstances on Twitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that live on my big cartel site when I am live, right? So it'll be for sale while I'm 
streaming. And then when I'm not streaming, I'm going to take it down. So you got to sort of check when I'm Ooh, when I'm streaming. And, and it's going to be limited. I'm not going to put all of them up. I'm only going to put like 10 up or whatever per day. Mark, can I ask so, you something? Yeah. Are you building a brand behind Broski's back right now? Twitch has been going great. But, <laughs> but good news. The good news is Twitch has lifted a a restriction that they had that you couldn't stream two places at once. It used to be a rule on Twitch that you couldn't stream, like if you were streaming on Twitch, you couldn't also stream on, on YouTube at the same time. Wow. Right? So they lifted that. So that's why lately I've been doing my unboxings on the- on oh, Double the, uh, dipping. Yeah. So it's great. That's cool. Very cool. All right. All right, guys. Well, let's go to the news. And the news is brought to you by Paps Blue Ribbon. The Major Pod Network has partnered with our favorite adult beverage, Paps Blue Ribbon. Everybody needs some liquid courage to make their own weekly purchases. Scratch that figure itch and scratch that PBR itch. If you're listening to this, you're already a major mark. Now it's time to become a major PBR mark. Use hashtag Major PBR and post your pictures and videos of you major marking out with some Paps. Paps Blue Ribbon and the Major Pod Network, the tag team champions of the world of the world major pbr forever all right guys past blue ribbon major pbr it's football season drink some pbr i don't watch football but i'm still drinking pbr hey we had that post bound for glory party in the lobby and there was a lot of drinking going on there some pbr baby i absolutely love that Use the hashtag MajorPBR every week. If we choose your picture or video, you will get a little prize. This one is an honorable mention. Uh, package and shipping suit. Can't wait for you all to get me in your hands. It's by The Joe Shoes. It's the Major PBR Captain Joe Shoes. Major Bendy. Wear those yeah. PBR shorts. Has the Major PBR on what the packaging. An epic figure. Sorry, Shoes, you will not be getting uh, a prize. The person who will be. Oh. Is, is Shoes a fronter in your uh, in your Bendy's collection, Broski? He's a in a middler. <laughs> He's a middler. <laughs> He's a middler. He's a middler. A bet middler. Shoes, for me, Shoes uh. is not even just a fronter. He is a desker. Like I, 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 he's gonna go right here, so I can look at him every just, time I'm just sitting be inspired there. Inspired every day. Yes, I, I choose. If you're listening, I will say this: based on the fact that I'm too lazy to reorganize things, you will be on like the front, frontish level until Larry, I reorganize wow. everything. You made his day. Oh, Broski, I'm the same way. Well, yeah. I, I think nails is right in the middle in the front right now because I didn't feel like <laughs> rearranging anything. It's just nails in front I, of I me. I hear you guys. I'm way more OCD than you guys about that kind of stuff. Though I hear you. Yeah. All right. So the winner, Jacob two one zero nine four. Chris Risley says Joe Shoes Midler. <laughs> uh, shout out at. Passable Ribbon for the amazing customer service and all the fan gear. Definitely much appreciated. Uh, hashtag Major PBR. It's a bunch of PBR swag. I love that. Sweet. You guys, get your Major PBR swag at ProWrestlingTees.com. All right. So news. Dusty Rhodes Micro Brawler. I was shocked when I saw this. Yeah, me too. I was blown but away. But I absolutely love it in the, uh, you know, like the promo t-shirt. Totally. And then the, I, the chase is bloody. Is that what it is? I thought that I saw that. Yeah. Oh man. Well, I'm definitely gonna be getting that for my uh cool. my micro brothers collection. I think that's really, really cool. What about this from here we go. Hastel Toy show it off. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me catch my breath for a second. <laughs> Oh, I don't even know what is. All right, Brian and I, we discussed this in the pod last week. Uh, I was all in with Brian that we're just going to be, with all the retro companies, hey, they do great jobs. We can't be a uh, completist or completionist. We're just going to do just the heels and faces because that is the true, in our opinion, you know, continuation of the Hasbro's because they're designed by Ron Rudat, the original Hasbro designer. I was all in with Brian. I was going to sell all my stuff. And then Mitch posted the Quebecers, and I was like, That's "Damn!" You? <laughs> I'm like, "Damn!" Because well, then on the mission uh, had me on the fence, but then he posted the Quebecers, like, "Oh, these look really cool." And then he posted Ray Rougeau, and I'm like, "Come on!" 
<laughs> like announce, announcer Ray Rougeau. Announcer Ray Rougeau, which I I appreciate the deep cut. Which Here to be fair, he showed me in privacy at New York Comic Con, and right, and right away he said, "Do you know who this is?" And because I'm a diehard wrestling lunatic, I said, "That's Ray Rougeau," but I don't know to the at like the average. Pre- yeah, I mean. <laughs> He's at, first of all, that's a smart Mark Sterling body, I think. He's at the point. <laughs> he copied the it. microphone. I think what I think happened is that when Swaggle jumped ship, Mark was going to jump ship. Right. But Zombie lured him back. And then this Mitch was like, well, news. shit, who else can I put on this head? He said, I know. Ray Rougeau. First of all, I think the Ray Rougeau is great, is a great idea. And I, for some reason, this is, stands out to me. I knew this right away. This was Ray Rougeau. It looks 100%. great. It looks well, like Ray Rougeau. A lot of people like Rick Rude, Rick Rude, Rick Rude. I mean, it looks like Alex Oh, Trebek. no way. It could be anybody. It could be a terrible Rick Rude. Well, it does look like great Alex Ray Trebek, Rougeau. but so does Ray Rougeau. <laughs> okay, fair but enough. But back to the Quebecers. I don't know about you, Brian. I was yeah. always so mad we never got Quebecers. True. They got screwed, for sure. They got screwed. I mean, we got the Mountie, and then I guess technically you could use two Mounties and do the Quebecers. What is PCO's name even when he's a Quebecer? Pierre. It's Pierre, right? Yeah. Jacques and Pierre. Jacques so and Pierre. Right? I think they look great. I really do. Love um, the I Quebecers. I think they look really, really good. Now, since we just put over Mitch, I have to bury him because- <laughs> For what? I was so excited yeah. for his his Ghostbuster- <laughs> Oh, <laughs> we, bro. We pull this up on the I screen. I forgot about that already, yeah. Can we pull this up on the screen? So yeah. he's going to make, which I think is a great idea, he's going to make- um, Kurt Fuller. Okay, <laughs> for for those who don't know, Kurt Fuller has been in a lot of movies, specifically Ghostbusters. You might have to go to his page for this. Yeah, I'll yeah. Find it. And I thought this is a great idea. I was, I don't know why he's also making it in the Hasbro style, which I think is a bad idea. Yeah, might not put necessary. it on that Brave Your Body. Not necessary at all. <laughs> but he's using the Mattel mold uh, to make it to go with your Ghostbuster figures. And I was like, you know, and listen, I still might get it, and hopefully there'll be some improvements. But it does not look like Kurt Fuller. I mean, opinion. we annihilated the Savio. Remember that first Savio? Yes, and then he fixed it. And then he made it made the Savio look pretty nice. So hopefully, uh, it does not it look like looks like James, James Con. Con. <laughs> That's James Con. <laughs> Kurt Fuller, guys. So, Kurt Fuller. <laughs> yeah, there he is. <laughs> So 80s I'm hoping random movie star Kurt Fuller. I, I I saw him right away. Listen, I I hope it approves. I will get it because it's official. Kurt Fuller. I put it with my Ghostbuster figures, but it's got to improve a little bit for me. I need some more meat on the bone. Especially. I mean, this is not a great picture. I we don't really know. This is a the side head. picture. This it's lighting still, is the not good. Is, it's a, gotta needs work. Yeah. Uh, I because these are supposed to look realistic. You know what I'm saying? Mm. The heads are not supposed to look cartoony. They're supposed to look real. <laughs> in that but case. In other Mitch news, uh, you see the pictures of the King Mabel. Were, were, was he showing that off at Comic-Con, the King Mabel? It's another one he showed me in privacy, but I don't know if he's showed well, Someone posted a picture, so I don't know if that's actually okay. going to come out. Uh, but he did up for pre-order, I believe, Mo, not Mo, sorry, Oscar for Men on Mission, Carlito, and Duke the Dumpster Josie. So, all right. You know, get your get what you want. gimmicks, I guess. I guess I'm out. I uh, sold them all on whatnot tonight. So you're you're totally out. Cellas and uh, grapplers and gimmicks are gone. What about rush collectibles? I had those for a day. I never those were done before it even right. started. How how the prices on those uh, cellas go? For Fine, you? I was happy with Good? it. Yeah, huh. I'm so I'm still so on the fence. I mean, I don't think I need like the dynamite kid because he doesn't fit the era, but like a king haku, I feel like I need. There was like. A handful that I like, but then nah. I don't know what so, I'm gonna do yet. I can't collect I everything, know. and I but certainly can't. can't collect something that's just gonna sit in a bag in a bin. And I'm not. That is point. true. Yeah, that is. True. I, I don't have any of. I don't have any cellos, but Ethan and uh, um, uh, Josh Chernoff, and I don't have any Mitches, but I would get a Mitch. If there wasn't a version coming out, right? Like so, um, like King Haku, I would get that, and I I plan on getting. It. I'm just I've just been lazy. I I am going to get the hog the um, Godwins, the farmers. I believe he's calling them. 
Yeah. The, the so farmer, the big farmers. I, my plan is to get those. If but like I don't need Ahmed. Zombies coming out with an Ahmed. I don't need to have and a placeholder. Have a mission, so exactly. But then do you need Oscar? Um, oh well, man! If, see, that's uh, that would be a, a, a piece by piece decision. Does it does it match good? If it does, hell yeah! Right. Uh, and listen, we listen. We love zombie, but we know how long it takes for him to get figures out. So true. That man on the mission? mission. When's that coming? Uh, speaking of zombie, he did show off the Matt and Nick Gage, the the two pack. He says is going to be for pre order in a couple weeks. He said only two thousand pieces. I can't believe that. And uh, man, I fucking love it. That's so this cool, though. Yeah. Is this this match is over two years old? Like, let's fucking go, let's go. I mean, and ringside still has a two pack coming too. I know. Oh my yeah. god. Well, but, I, you, here's the thing: you just have to market this as a um, defining moments, right? You know what I'm saying? This is the right, defining moments sure. figure. It's it's a, it's a throwback at this point. It's not like a current. And sure. yeah, what I, I love about the, the the gauge, it's so much different than the gauge in series two. So it has a soft, good shirt. You take the shirt off; he's bloody underneath. He added the articulation to the elbows, which at first I was against, but I don't necessarily hate that he's making improvements on these uh, Hasbro figures. So I'm very excited to get it, obviously, because I'm getting paid for it, but also because this is one of my favorite, if not my favorite match of all time that I've had. So it's cool to have it in, in the, figure form. The gauge scan is completely different with the teeth and stuff. Yes, so. the bloody no pizza bandana. cutter. Yeah. Wild. Yeah, it's 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 awesome. You know the pizza cutter spins. Do we talk it about does. that? It does. Yeah, I was shocked unbelievable. Yeah. yeah, I was shocked. We'll talk more about uh, heels and faces a little bit. Oh yeah. We got uh, pre-order the Sting statue from Diamond Select. This thing, I saw this at, at Starcast. These statues are incredible. Heath hit me with this at a uh, when he saw it, he goes, "Man, you gotta let me know when I can buy that, man. I need that Sting." <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Um, I think it's a great value. I think they look way more expensive than they really are because they're not like they're I, a, a cheaper I, material. I've liked everyone. I mean, I have no need for them, but I've right. liked everyone I've seen. I think they're a really cool piece. I, I think they're fucking yeah. awesome. Uh, also, Foco, the, the bobblehead company, put out some weird... Oh, look at that stinger right there. It's, it I don't cool. even think that picture does it justice. Up close, it's really incredible. The likeness is dead on. I think they're really, really look at cool. look at Heath. Oh my comment. God, he threw it on. That's pretty damn. That's pretty cool, damn man. cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> pretty damn cool. Oh man. I love that he God, gets gone. all his wrestling figure news from Major WF Pod on Instagram. Uh, I love unreal. It. Uh, Foco, Mark, are you, are you gonna have Sting's last match? I yeah, probably. Probably right. Yeah, yeah. Mm, I love that. Oh, uh, look at these folk. Can you bring up these Foco big heads, <laughs> Mark? You see him down there, bottom yeah. right corner. So. Dude. Undertaker with the Phantom Mask, Triple H with like his King of Kings mask, the but WrestleMania then, entrance mask, yeah. Bret Hart, <laughs> backwards hat, Howard Stern glasses, and NWO T-shirt. Like Dude. what? <laughs> what? These, that's up there with like displaying your Ted DiBiase with the old head scan. This, I mean, I don't want to say WTF because it actually looks good, <sighs> but it's like what a head scratching choice. I wish the the base had WCW logos instead of the WWE even. Right, it's brutal. right, right. That's bizarre. If you're a Bret Hart collector, though, you're going, oh, that's pretty I, cool. I, I think I, if, you, I, if you're a Bret Hart guy or a completist, you're probably thrilled to get something David unique, C. Anderson's like fucking jacking yeah. it over this. You know? Yeah, he's like, probably going to buy it and return it and buy it and return it a couple times. Any unique, like if, yeah, if you're like, look, any unique Ric Flair thing, I'm like very excited about. Even right, because like, you're, it's not the same old shit. Oh, a, a gold statue that is, that you can use as a, a Christmas ornament? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I I still think that that Mattel needs to make a good WCW Bret Hart. Oh, I still haven't done that. I still hate that two pack Goldberg two pack Bret. Horrible. Rough. Um, what about our good friend Colt Boom Boom Cabana in one of the carniest moves of all time? Okay, <laughs> what do you but expect? I respect it. I respect it. He took the original micro brawler that was in baggies and got boxes made for them, one of 100. I think it's a genius, genius I move. completely agree. And he, I made a little trade ski with him this weekend. I have one of those in my possession that will be on my WhatNot channel. When Unbelievable. I, sure. yeah. I don't think that's carny at all. It's cool. I think it's cool, genius, and it's a great way to display a figure that was in a freaking crappy little bag. 
I guess my question is, are these taken out of bags or are these re-releases? Uh, I think it's both. What do you mean? It was taken out of a bag, but now it's released oh, this okay. way. okay. I, I meant, like, did they rerun them? No. I think he, th- I thought, I was under the assumption that he made these. He just had a hundred of them still in fucking bags? Because he was, like, on the ground floor of that, yeah. I think. Either way, I think it's a great idea. Carney is all hell, but I still love it. I still respect it. <laughs> You're definitely so, jealous. Uh, I think it's pretty damn cool. <clears throat> That's pretty damn cool, man. You guys, anything else for news? No, nope. I do not. All right, so some ringside news. Back in stock, Dan Housen, very nice, very evil. Coming soon, Hook FTW, ringside exclusive. Ultimate 19 with Kurt Ankle, Bianca Belair, and Bobby Lashley. And let's speak on this. Listen, we don't really do stolen stuff and and you know unreleased stuff but we knew that defining moments macho was far along and they've been popping up we've Ugh, been seeing it in the other breaks my heart it looks so good too it looks so good and uh it breaks my heart i'm gonna try my best to get my hands on one i know eventually we'll get it because you know he's gonna re-sign with mattel don't worry they gotta work something out he's got and you know they're man. gonna get out eventually but we crazy seen- the big names that aren't under legend deals right now right kind of wild it's so world the macho man we've seen uh test shots where it's unpainted we've seen fully painted fully done but i have not seen a mint uh in box one but i feel like there's got to be a couple hopefully some samples we'll see and then you know i'll, I'll buy that because i'm a psychopath <laughs> all right and up next is the ringside top 10 This episode of the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast has been brought to you by Ringside Collectibles, the number one online retailer of WWE action figures. Go to WrestlingFigures.com and make a purchase, and when you do, use discount code MAJOR at checkout to save 10%. Another sale, Sami Zayn's number one again. Ringside Top 10. Use code MAJOR for discount at the end. Wow. Number 10. Johnny Gargano, Elite 105. Right. I mean, Perfect first, timing. First figure back. And also getting back on TV. Number nine, the Usos Ultimate Edition, two-pack. Number eight, Cody Rhodes Bruise, Defining Moments. Number seven, Hook, Unmatched Seven. Number six, Jimmy and Jay Uso, Elite 106. Number five, Carmelo Hayes, Elite 105. Number four, Solo Sokoa, Elite 104. Number three, LA Knight, Red, Series 141. Number two, Dan Housen, Very Nice, Very Evil. And number one, Dominic Mysterio, Elite 105. Nice, that's a cool figure. I saw it at ringside last week. Hell yeah. All right, and up next is Weekly Purchases brought to you by Major Bendy's. All right, this is Matt Cardona, host of the Major Wrestling Fever Podcast, but also owner of Major Bendy's with Brian Myers. Brian, tell everyone about Major Bendy's, Big Rubber Guys over on MajorPodMerch.com. MajorPodMerch.com. Get your Major Bendies. There's that merch table exclusive me. Uh, Big Rubber Guys sweeping the action figure world by storm. Bro, we have so many Major Bendies, almost 100 figures. We have legends like Tommy Dreamer, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, new guys like Dan Housen, and of course, Big Rubber Guys. It is the throwback to the LJN style. We got Matt and Brian, Demolition, Macho Man, Ric Flair. Keep checking MajorPodMerch.com and scratch that figure itch. Some might cost a little. 
some might cost a lot. But I'm the thousand dollar broski. And your figures will be bought. <laughs> All right, guys, use the hashtag Major Bendy's each and every week. If we choose your uh, post, we'll give you a Major Bendy's exclusive card. This one comes from at Mike Durbin. He was at Impact this week, took a photo with a bunch of the, the wrestlers wearing a Major Bendy's jacket. One of those, I don't know if it was mine or Brian's or somebody's <laughs> who sold it. But he was wearing it. Mike Durbin, big supporter of the is Major Bendy. The champions photo? He's with all the champions? Oh, uh, that's what it is. A champions photo wearing that Major Bendy's jacket. So he will be getting uh, a Major Bendy's card. So congratulations. Nice. Um, all right. That just so, reminds me of the of the Major Bendy's sweatshirt that I have that's so comfortable. It's getting colder out. I got to break yeah. that puppy out. Is that the all red one? Yeah, but I only wear it in the house. It's a little too I, embarrassing I, I to wear out. <laughs> Sorry, oh, guys. God. Yeah, I, I moved on from that one. Yeah, too red. <laughs> All right, speaking of red, I got right here, L.A. Night. Brian talked about it last week. I needed to – listen, I don't do current guys, but I needed to check out the articulation. We're, we're, we're reporters. We're wrestling figure reporters. We yeah. got to we gotta know. We can't just speculate. All right, I I'm, thought, bi- I'm big screening you here. What do you think here? Originally, the basics were fine figures, just not as – Elite as elites. Then they turned they're into still essentially pretty exceptional they were, they at were time, great. most times. Yeah. Yes. Then they turned into essentially dollar store toys in my opinion. <laughs> but with with this added articulation, bro, you're call me crazy. I like them better than elites because I don't need too far. The I don't need the thigh swivel. I don't need the ab. Crunch I know what you're saying, I'm, but too I'm far. Not, but it's still great. Yeah, but and but the, dude, pop the hands, pop the head. That's the crazy part. To me, this looks better than that weird ab crunch thing. Like I like this better, and I I'm not see doing what you're saying. But you need the ab crunch. Figures have come too far. You can't go backwards. I don't think. I don't. I personally don't like the ab crunch. Yeah, I don't like the ab crunch. I think this looks way better. I gave this away on whatnot today, so someone's gonna. You know, I'm. Send this out tonight, so someone's getting the, the figure from this podcast. I think that I think that's wild. I mean, look, I think for it's you, way better for you, somebody who puts these figures with their hands down in the shelf like this. Right. But that ab crunch, no, it's we don't really talk about it, but that helps with the poses. Somebody's like reaching. Oh my god, up so much or, stuff. Yeah, or bending over. Any you know, like Batista's a pose. Kid playing, yeah. Listen, I'm it's not saying to eliminate more. the ab crunch. I'm just saying I personally like it better i understand why the but ab crunch is there bottom line is basics are back way better product now i mean yeah. like Can, let's go who uses though the thigh swivel anyone use the thigh swivel it depends i mean uh, okay, okay give me a situation that I depends don't know. on like if it's a certain pose or something i don't know yes sean michaels sean michaels doing his sean michaels there pose. you go you can't do a sean michaels pose without that swivel why not? The leg won't bend, bend like that. It won't balance because you got to turn the feet and everything. Yeah, you need to turn. You uh, need to turn okay. all that shit. All right, whatever. All I'm saying is maybe I went a little overboard, but I think the basics it's are great. way better. Either way, it's it's a it's a great step in an awesome direction for these things. And I feel like we almost don't even like cover the basics. Like we like because they're not toys. I know it's we like, would like just read the fucking lineups when we hear them and not even talk about them because there was nothing right. to talk about. But now. Like literally, L.A. Knight's probably like the hottest figure in wrestling figures right now because he's a new st- talent that everyone's going nuts about. And he's got a figure and he's got this new basic, and it's actually something worth talking about. Mm. My- Michael McDonald saying Undertaker Shakespeare pose. Yeah, definitely okay, can't listen, do Shakespeare. I'm sure there's a couple. I'm sure there's a couple. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe I was over exaggerating a bit, but I, I like <laughs> he, probably, he probably couldn't do a good uh, Rough Rider without the, the the swivel. All right, all right. Listen, whatever. Maybe I went a little overboard, but I yeah. I do like him. <laughs> Uh, a lot better. <clears throat> Can we talk about the secret package we got? Oh, my Tom God. I cannot wait. Well, people got shipping notifications on Mike Booger Shaw. Bro. Look it's official. This. It is official the missing with piece, this right? figure in our hands. The orange card is finally complete. Wait. So, so, so. Uh, he, was the, he was the missing piece. Right, but but uh, did you guys do an unboxing of this or anything? You just nope. ripped no. it. No, I just ripped it. <laughs> I was too excited. <laughs> Actually, I did this out Let Him Breathe, if you watch on uh, MajorMarks.com. Oh, sweet. So it's Sick. him. 
It's it's Mike Boogershaw, Jeff Jarrett from Heels and Faces. Mitch made Men on a Mission. Yep. And then Mattel made Doink, Diesel, Luger, Luger. and Diesel. Mm -hmm. So after all these years, we finally have the rumored orange card set. I think this figure is unbelievable. I love it. I, you know, at first I was a little disappointed that Zombie didn't just, you know, recreate like an earthquake body like it was supposed to be. But I like this, this way better. This is way better. It's way yeah. more authentic. It's incredible. It looks just like him. Man, I went down like a Bastion Booger rabbit hole. Man, his run is like nothing. <laughs> oh, my like God. Yeah. Crazy that he was even considered to have a Hasbro. I also didn't realize how long he's been dead for i was like because i was like i had to like honestly i had to ask myself like do i have to get this signed like when i realized oh my god he's dead and he's been dead for a while hmm. what a, a great me. great figure i think it's it's a it's totally a missing piece from the hasbro collection i love that he even put it on an orange card but it's it's beautiful this was a i believe it was a san diego comic-con exclusive so people should be getting these any any day now so uh, another Z zombies thing. always said, once the once the floodgates open, it's just going to be insane. Which just yeah. feels like it's starting to do it. I have a shelf now, and it's starting. It finally feels like a collection. Like yes, it's so cool. Let's talk about this. He will be available on Black <laughs> Friday. He's in stock. The eighth wonder of the world, Andre oh, the Giant. Black strap, different head scan, screaming. Now, I was talking to Zombie. We talked about the pot, how the heads are a little hard to pop off. He said, just use a blow dryer. It'll soften them, and you can pop them. But I guess my I'm thing not, is, I'm not switching because I like the way they are naturally. Right. So, like, there's yes. no point for me. Yeah, so, I tried to switch it last week. It was not happening. It's I'm not going to switch it's, it. It's, it's the scary stuff. You're like, don't want to break it. Yeah, but. By the way, I got I got the uh, I got the Raven in. I mentioned that. Um, so, I I mean, I opened it. It's unbelievable. It's and unreal, and right? I wouldn't. I don't I took him out of the package. He's like, it's literally perfect. I'm not yeah. even going to sit him down. Sano, I'm not going to yeah, take right. anything yeah, off. you have some crazy plans, like, it's I'm just leaving him as is. Yeah, yeah it was perfect. As is. But this Andre is incredible. I mean, it's drastically different from the Series 2 with the blue and the different head. And what I love about it is that if you're a mint on card collector, he also changed the card. So it's not even just the same card with a different figure. Yeah. Everything's different. Yeah. I was surprised by that, actually, when I saw it. So I, I love this. And then also I got this, Brian. Did you get it? Bruiser Brody variant. with no vest. The variant with no vest. I'm only Which, getting one to keep men on card. I don't need one loose. Same. But, man, does that make you really appreciate the pre-order vest one? Because that really adds to the figure. Oh, my man. God. That, I, I told you guys I thought it might be like one, of, one of the best figures of all time. Yeah. But, yeah, it's like because of that jacket and, and the legs. Here's, this is a testament to that figure. My wife, who barely gives a fuck about wrestling, gives no fucks about wrestling toys, walked in here and that caught her eye. She goes, "That's new, huh? That looks like and I'm like who is that? What what is that? Like, and like yeah. was ta asking me about it. And I don't think that's happened in our twelve year relationship. So wow. yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's uh, it's a great figure. And what Zombie did was, if you pre ordered it, the vest was exclusive. Now he's going to sell these, you know, afterwards. No vest. I, I love that. I think he should do something like that every time. Sure, yeah. Opinion. It gives you incentive to, to invest. I, I, I think he's doing great things with this line. Like Brian and I said, what well, we feel is the true continuation. Because the artwork by Ron Rudat. And what I love about the, you know, obviously this Bruiser Brody artwork was probably done in like 20, oh, it says 2021. But the, the Bash of Booger artwork, he just used... The artwork from 93, 94, the original one. And put so it cool. Box. Which yeah. I, didn't under, I didn't understand that because didn't wouldn't he have to have done it again to do this? Maybe he didn't redraw it. Maybe they just had the sculptor do it, you know? And they just kind of sculpted it like yeah. without knowing it's a reused part and just right. use yeah. your imagination. But, I mean, listen, this is way better than, you know, even though I said I wanted it with that earthquake body, it would have been horrible. It wouldn't have horrible. What's the, the point? It wouldn't have singlet. matched the rest of these beautiful no. figures, right? It wouldn't no. have made any sense. So, and like you said, man, it's finally starting to feel like a collection. I feel like for so long it was just series one that we were. Bro, I'm literally, oh, I had a designated spot. My room hasn't even been set up that long, but I, like just to stare at those four figures or whatever, because I don't even have myself on display. I have myself with my other figures. I was like, oh my god, let's go. And I mean, you know, we're gonna get slick. 
Hercules, Paul Roma, One Man Gang, Jack Ta- Tunney. Todd Pettengill. Todd Pettengill, Smart Mark Sterling, are you, are yours, Nick are those, Cage. Those down or like are those still up or is no, you, gone. Those are, that's it. Oh wow. Yeah. Cool. Very limited. What else you guys get this week? I got something right here that I got yesterday at the Kane County Toy Show, which I went to with my good friend Colt Cabana. Um, guys, maybe the greatest of all time. I can't recommend it enough. This store. Toy Show? Bro, it's, I can't even ex- explain it to you guys. It's outdoors okay, in like seven different like giant barns and you walk to each one. It's Fucking insane. Now, Nuts. it's a toy store or like a convention? No, it's a giant con- like flea market convention. But it's they up do- all the time? Or they no? do twice a year. Okay. Unbelievable. Um, vlogged it with Colt. Bought a bunch of things. I grabbed this in a $5 bin, and my heart stopped. And I went, you know what? This is meant to be. A oh, Will Scarlet. It's off the cards, but it's still mint. Let's Only go. Five bucks. And I literally talked about it in that episode. I said, I did not have that as a kid, and I always wished I did. I was like, this is like figure fate right in front Let's of me. Let's go. Wow. And now here I am. I've just Live unboxing 20 just years later. Six Will's years old again. 20 years? What am I talking about? 30 years. Yeah, dude. Oh, my God. This little thing of arrows. Oh, the crossbow. Wow. The crossbow shoots too, right? Or no? Oh, oh you flick it. You put yeah, it in the arm, you, can, you put the arrow in, you flick it, and it shoots. Look at that. Damn. That looks good. Slater, all salty with Robin Hood. Because <laughs> I'm your brother. Hair should be a little more blonde. Well, I mean, we know the effort put into these figures was very minimal after our episode, but still just so childhood cool. memories you can't replace. So that's going to be a vlog oh my God. On, on, on There's the, a uh, goddamn spoiler in the back of this. What? what? Will Scholar is the long-lost brother of Robin Hood. Why the fuck are they? It's the first of line of his bio. What? That is <laughs> that is like uh, the blank type stuff, man. Oh, my God. He Holy shares shit. some great skills with the crossbow, although he can be hot-tempered and brash. In the end, there's no one more dependable than Will Scar. This is a full-blown spoiler alert in this thing. Damn. That's unbelievable. So cool. You got anything else? Yeah, it is, it is a flick. <laughs> I'm not going to do it, but we'll flick bow. So so you did a vlog, and that's going to be on the channel coming soon? Yes. I'm very but excited. I, but- I, so, like, you know, full disclosure, outside of, like, the vlog and stuff, we probably spent a little over two hours there, and it, was, it wasn't even close enough. Barely scratched the surface. Damn. Wow. Couldn't hit every room, and it was just, it was so cool. Epic. You just got that, though? Uh, I grabbed, like, a Joe Namath um, McFarlane I've been looking for. He was a, he's a... Jets legend, Broski. Never heard of him. Uh, a couple other things. I grabbed a uh, Kurt Hawkins uh, basic from from back in the day for five bucks. Not bad. Uh, I grabbed Heath his elite min in box for twenty bucks for him. I gave that to him as a gift. Sweet. Yeah, I, I grabbed a, a Russell Westbrook McFarland for Moose, who's his favorite athlete. So I gave that to him as a gift. What a nice guy. Yeah, like I said, we did, dude didn't have enough time to get there. It was crazy. Wow. Uh, the last thing I got, listen, I'm a big Disney fan. I collect Disney figures. There's not many things, and this is something I've wanted for years, where it looks like the Disney characters at the park, like in their park outfits. Mm-hmm. You know, I have like these like little statue things that were sold at the parks, these little tiny statues. But on Shop Disney, they, they're they pretty much fucking dolls. I'll show you right now. It just came out, which is weird, to celebrate <laughs> the Disney 100, even though it just ended. It's Mickey and Minnie, limited edition, uh, 4750 You open up these boxes. It's like pretty much dolls of Mickey and Minnie, but it That's looks cool. like they're the characters at the park. Yeah, you, do, you, get a, you get a photo op with that. Exactly. So I'm like, I need this even though I don't really do dolls. Like this is what I've been wanting for years, like figures <laughs> of the characters like in their park look. So, Man. I'm really, this makes me really sad about the Super 7 Disney deal. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because like, if if that Disney deal kept going, you assume you get an ultimate Donald Duck, you get a, you get another Mickey, you get an, well, you know actually, what I'm saying? No, That's what actually, you want. Actually, no, Mark, I don't think, I don't think we were ever going to get the Fab Five. 
Really? I think, I think those guys were off the table, and the only reason we got Mickey is because it was Sorcerer Mickey from Fantasia. Oh. They're Man, I was characters. in that line to get the Fab Five. No, I don't think we would have ever gotten uh, the Fab Five. I also don't think we would have ever gotten... Like, uh, you know, Disney's very protective of their park exclusive characters. Like, we would have never got a figment or the characters in the. I mean, listen, never say never. D- very protective with the. F- All right. Yeah. But I'm astonished, even though I shouldn't be, that at 38 years old, Matt bought something for himself that I probably would have bought my six and three year old. <laughs> That's all I want to contribute to this. I don't know if you would have spent the money on this. This is pretty pricey. It hit me with it. It was like, oh, I can get you the exact price. Uh, I got to look it up. You guys talk while I, f- while I find it. Man. Uh, All right. Well, so I, I got uh, a... Go what's first. that? Okay. So do you I have got, something? You can go first. Yeah. I got that whole... I uh, got a whole shipment from ringside. So I got the, the Royal Rumble set and the Survivor Series set. We, you, you guys have talked about it. I unboxed the entire thing, every single figure on our YouTube. The video still exists there. We hung out and had a great time doing it. Um, I wanted to build the figures. I'm going to be giving away the other figures except i just wanted to highlight these two uh the oh, jerry lawler so, yeah, is lawler unbelievable thing, yeah. you talked about it it's perfect i close my eyes this is the jerry lawler i see yeah, i love yeah. this jacket it's kind of movable the, the 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 face is perfect bro i had this talk with vsk and he was like i'm like that's the lawler he's like i have the other one i'm like no but that's yeah, what the other, lawler what, like, what other one does he have the this, blue and white one that it's that's great, great it's like, this is but the one. that's lawler like that's that's his look like yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. And then we, he's we, I don't know if we talked about this enough. This Great Steiner. Figure. This oh, yeah, Rick Steiner is unfucking believable. For deco bite hits me. alone it's bite nuts. me. Oh yeah, remember we had the big argument of bite me's a inappropriate term or not? Yeah. Well, I was just catching up on some of these. So these are these are two of my favorite in there. I mean, honestly, like I'm not keeping it, but that Brock Lesnar too was was yeah, really good. Oh yeah, no, the figures are great. But great Brock like Lesnar. That, guys, even that Rich good. Holland like uh Ridge Holland or whatever yeah, his yeah. name is. That, the sent, jacket is unbelievable. His his club so cool. Yeah. I sent all those figures. I opened all the figures. Kept what I sent them all to my <laughs> niece and nephew. Yeah, uh, but like I looked at them. Like the, you're right. They're incredible figures. Even the yeah. the Beth was awesome. The Beth Phoenix. Yeah. yeah. Very. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. It looks like Luna. Yeah. Really cool. I'm gonna be giving those away on my Twitch too. So Twitch uh, this, this Mickey and Minnie uh, was one ninety nine ninety nine. You know. What? For shipping. Yeah. That's about double what I thought you were gonna say. I would oh, never wow. pay that, but I thought you were gonna say like five hundred bucks. I had to get it. I had to get it. Wow. Well, my last thing I would love to plug. Got a fresh case of these bad boys today. Oh baby. Merch table exclusive. Brian Myers. Major Bendies. Look at this one. I autographed one for myself for my collection. How weird Mark. is that? ECW tribute packaging. Look at that Major Bendy uh, Defender available on MajorPodMerch.com. Uh, that's getting saved. And uh, I do have some breaking news, guys. Uh, uh-huh. I was going to debut these on the Impact Tour that I'm about to embark on in the UK. But we're not allowed to bring merch other than T-shirts. Damn. Really? Yeah, there was a... I don't know why. I didn't question it. So that's not happening. And now... The first place you're going to be able to get the Brian Myers merch table exclusive. Oh, no. <laughs> Gary Damron <laughs> Championship Wrestling, baby. ASW, West Virginia, Saturday, November 4th, Madison Civic Center. Come see the major players in action. Both merch table exclusives will be on sale. Yes. And bring your goddamn pop 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 Power Town, Stan Hansen, and get it signed. That's a very, very rare opportunity, and I will wow. we'll be doing that as well. That's Mark, great. I'm going to read you a text I got from Gary Damron today. I want to see what you would do in this situation. You know? <laughs> okay, so uh, I have I have GCW the night before in St. Louis. Okay, uh, so he wrote Matt. The only flight into West Virginia from St. Louis leaves St. Louis at 5:09 a.m. Is that doable? That means I have to be at the airport at 4:09. That means I probably have to wake up at like 3.30 in the morning, depending on where the hotel is. Right. Right. I said, well, when do I get into West Virginia? He says, 10.30 a.m. I says, I says, I said, I says. Is, there a, is there a hotel room ready so I can nap? Then sure. Right? Okay. This yep. work is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, I would do it because. Well, I have to do that. He's asking me, but I have no choice. Yeah, yeah. The only 
negative thing about working for Gary Dameron is getting it's the middle of to, fucking to West Virginia is somewhat difficult every day. But then he takes care no of you once way. you're there. Oh, of it's the best. He's a, he's a gentleman, of course, but. Man, the travel is always a little tricky. So he says, he says, here is what we will do if the hotel won't let you check in that early. I have my room with two beds. <laughs> I'll leave when you get there and let you rest in the bed that wasn't touched, if that works. I wrote, that works. Like, what was I supposed to say? Well, I think that's totally fine. I mean, if he's already there, he can just get another room and check in and then just not use it and give you the key when you walk in at 10, you know? Right, right. Um, I mean, I, mean I yeah. Be there. I would the, say yes to. The merch however, table, Bendy will be there, and I'm running low on those I mean, guys. I brought them he didn't say, up. and then I'll watch you sleep for a couple hours. I mean, that that would be. <laughs> weird. But, yeah, I, I, I would I kind of be fine. dreading it a little bit, but but I would I would be like, okay, this is. I don't think it matters at all. No. There's nothing worse than getting there and the hotel's not ready. That happened to That's, me this week. Or if you're just dog tired from being up at three in the morning, like yeah. that happened to me this week at Impact. I, I landed the day of the show, went to the. The hotel not ready. I'm like, oh, bro. We were probably me and you having the same exact problem at the same exact time, in different cities. Oh, the worst. <sighs> hey, last thing. We got it. They got the October Pro Wrestling Great. Oh, ready to watch? Spoiler alert. Let's go. Spoiler Major pod crate alert, soon, guys. Spoiler alert. The Pro Wrestling Crate literally on my box. I mean, my porch. This today. Okay. Oh, wow. This is a real spoiler. Real spoiler. All right. This one's cool. We got. Oh, a, give that to Heath, man. You guys surprise, you guys surprise him on the show tomorrow. That's like WCW fucking yeah, That's thing. actually this that shirt is rules. really cool. Yeah. That's a, I'm going to wear that in stream. All right. We got. This one I will not wear. We got a El Generico. Oh it's kind of a cool shirt. Tijuana, Mexico. Actually, this is one of those shirts that doesn't look like a wrestling shirt. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just kind of neat. Yeah. It's like, no, like it's, I actually think it's a nice design. It's a style of shirt, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. El Generico. Oh, baby, do you guys know about this? Yes. We got a gangrel. Bro- Broski and I always get the heads up. Oh, Micro yeah. brawler. That's I cool. Is there that. a bloody is variant? Be, it's gotta be a bloody chase. Ooh, that was the only thing I did. Is that know. what it is? A bloody ch- mother ever. <laughs> That's really cool. Uh, All right. We got, the hell is this? Uh, we got a Darby Allen coffin drop patch. That's cool. By the way, all, got, his fig- uh, all his figures outdated with that new face tag. Bro, huh? I was like scrolling Instagram. I see, I'm like waking up maybe Saturday morning. I see, okay, Darby Allen went to a stunt show and just did a stunt and like almost died. Yeah. And then I keep scrolling. Oh, and he got a face tattoo. I'm like, what is going on with this guy? <laughs> I've never met him or anything, but I was just If like, there's anybody to get a face tattoo, I think it's fine for I Darby. I guess, yeah, Jesus. Darby and SDL. Our boy, Dan That's Housen, cool. little, little micro brawler pin. Um, we have, uh, what is this? <laughs> I love that. Oh, guys. Uh-oh. We have right here a Lucha Brothers pillowcase. Wow. Oh, let's see it. <laughs> okay. Let's see it. All right. I hope Alex Abrahantes is on here. Wait, I, I, so, Prostantes is able to do pillowcases? We gotta put some stuff up, Broski. That looks nice. That's cool as hell. It's real cool. Oh, Broski, we what, gotta put what, some stuff up, man. What size pillow is that, though? That's a regular size pillow. That's a regular size pillow. Is, yeah. yeah, this is really cool, actually. Pillowcase is cool. Yeah. And then, last but not least, we got our 8x10 here. Who is it? Oh, baby. We got the Zodiac. The Zodiac. Oh, man. What an autograph. That is a cool autograph. Oh, my God. That probably had to take a long time to do those straight-ass Zs. <laughs> straight-ass Zs. Look at that thing. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, that's a cool crate. I think I'm going to hold on to that Sting shirt, sting and then shirt I'll put the, the rest. Right. All right. <laughs> Especially when you face off with him in his last match. Right. It's a time of match. All right, guys. Up next is the Major Mark Purchases of the Week. All right, the major mark purchase of the week. What do we got, Mark? We got some cool stuff. Uh, yeah, we got some great stuff this week. Here we go. Let's start out hot. Check that out. Oh, Ryan. I know. I'm just so torn on it. Like I said, I've never seen one, so that's what makes it so spectacular to me. But it says Bernard. Well, let's tell people what it is. Kyle Yates. It's a 
Ravishing Rick Rude autographed Series 1 Hasbro. Never seen before. So he says, the seller sent me pictures of this Hasbro signed Rick Rude months ago. He did not want to sell initially, but I ended up talking him into letting it go. This is a very rare piece, and it finished up my signed Series 1 Hasbro set with the exception of Andre. As a signed Hasbro collector, this was a grail piece that I was lucky and able to add. So I didn't even notice it said Bernard. That's funny. I'm holding strong, man. My, I mean, my collection certainly hit a wall. I can full blown admit that. Like it's hit a wall. Like I have every living person, and then now it's just these deceased guys. And I mean, but I, I have been so stubborn that every single piece that I have is American carding, and no, there's no price tags on not one of mine. There's not a SummerSlam carding on any of mine. Like it's kind of nuts. The but, carding uh, on this is pretty beat up too. But come on. Yeah, but I would have. That does is not what bothers me. I would have took that in that condition any day. It's just Bernard, best wishes, Bernard. Ravish, ravishing Rick Rude. <laughs> you know. All right, boys. Oh, Dennis wow. Spiacci finished series two of the Major Pod autograph card set. Looking forward to series three. I love that set. I'm so glad that it did so well. I'm so glad that everyone loved it because um, I, I love it too. I think it's just such an awesome collection of. You know, obviously a lot of our friends in the business, but just legends and you know, just it's just it's just sweet. It's just sweet to see it all together like that. It's twenty one cards total. Um how much did you guys pay in royalties to get Kurt Hawkins and Zach Ryder? A lot. Uh, well, <laughs> zero dollars. All right, so we got Brian Myers, Matt Cardona. As much as they got for that edgehead figure for This me. is the whole set. Brian Myers, Matt Cardona, Steph Delander, Kurt Hawkins, Zach Ryder, a jacked smart Mark Sterling. Uh, d- debut Kurt Hawkins or tag team champion Kurt Hawkins, tag team champion Zach Ryder, Deanna Perrazzo, Francine, Tommy Dreamer, Raven, TJ Wilson, Trinity, Ricky Morton, Ricky Starks, Max Caster, Karate Man. Where did he go? I thought Karate Man was dead. Effie, Alley Catch, and Captain Joe Shoes. I think it's a very well rounded set if I don't uh, say so myself. It's awesome. If I do say so myself. Pretty cool. All right. Here we go. Uh, Thomas T.K. Kelly might be in the chat. My grandparents loved wrestling. Because of that, my mom grew up going to wrestling events with my grandparents. My mom always said my grandparents loved Killer Kowalski and Bruno San Martino, which made sense given how over they were at the time. This weekend, I saw my mom who gifted me this Killer Kowalski versus San Martino photo from a match at Fenway Park in 1969. Even better, the picture is signed with a JSA cert by Bruno wow. San Martino. As I've been putting together my toy room, my mom thought it would be appropriate to have something with such history that reflected the generational love for wrestling that's been passed on. Pretty nice. damn cool. I absolutely love that. And incredible. look, Bruno's, Bruno's in blue. That's incredible. And the story's even more incredible. And I'm also baffled at a 1969 unprotected chair shot. Like, that's insane to think yeah. that. They did, even did a spot like that True. back then. By the way, guys, when you do these in Fenway per- Park, yeah, which is really cool. I would, yeah. I would love to frame that a, right. a picture like that in, yeah. in my room, one hundred percent. That was the epitome of Major Mark, like purchase of the week, like how it's written. It was written well. There was a nice story. <laughs> now with, somebody put this shit in here. Somebody put an awesome. Thing to, th- it was it was an unbelievable thing that they bought, but they didn't even say what it was. It's like, <laughs> what, 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 what? No picture. There was a picture, but like <clears throat> I'm not gonna do research. One, one week for your thing. Like, I went to Target and I got a Legends uh, Undertaker. <laughs> even, even though that's, <laughs> I think it's you. fine. I think it's fine. <laughs> but but at least say what it is. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's great when they have the stories though. Ooh, dude, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Come Rob on, Cosgrove. <laughs> I want Come to on. thank Ivan Mil- Milanovic of on. Ivy's Customs for bringing these two creations uh, to figures. Oh my God. Now that we will never get a final match edge in his Toronto Maple Leaf Gear Elite, and of course, one of the latest Broski incarnations of the Rider Taker, I have always been a fan of Edge since the days of the Brood, and this is is truly a beautiful tribute to his final WWE match. Since I had the Indie God Custom, I needed the Rider Taker for my Broski collection. But also in the picture, I added a uh, fun Knick offering some PBRs to Rider Taker oh and Edge in order to allow him to be in the new Edge Heads without without life size Knick. That's unbelievable. Holy shit, bro! How funny is it? it's 
it almost doesn't really work because the head's too big, but it's so it's funny. Also, <laughs> like, that kind of fucked up that that Dawson figure looks way more like Kinnick than Dawson. Oh my god, it's so much like Kinnick, it's insane. Man. There still is not a Dax or Dawson mustache, right? No. Nope. Yeah, that's 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 a Jazzwares problem, but yeah. Wow. That's criminal. All right, this one's funny. Johnny Cisco, after listening to the pod last week, y'all scared me so much. We went to <laughs> IKEA and bought four Detolfs. Don't even know what I'm going to do with them yet, but better to have them and then not. I, and I also agree. a new hutch for the dining room. So thanks for that. The most expensive free podcast. Yeah, I agree. You you gotta. You gotta Especially if it's it uniform Detolfs. with what you already have and it's going to be gone. That's not worth it. All right, Jake Wyatt, triple big boy purchase. Continuing my Hot Toys Batman collection, I was able to pick up the 1966 Adam West TV show version, which is really cool, by the way. It looks awesome. And the DX-12 Christian Bale from Dark Knight Rises. These are truly incredible, one of six scale figures, and I have to thank Andrew Husfar for convincing me to start this collection. Now, for the meat and potatoes, my wife and I put a down payment on my new house. We are building, and yes, I am building. Did he get a new fucking house? Did he do this (laughs) Yeah, but. Yeah, but this is uh, the one they're building. Oh, wow. Oh, good for him. That's yeah, awesome. And, and he's building a toy room, thinking about making a secret compartment for Giant Gonzalez collection, something that can be hidden but displayed when I want. Since I kind of like that. Since I I'm mostly that. going to keep it Batman-themed, with the exception of my Matt, Mark, and Brian collection. Ah, the thanks, Adam Jake. West Batman I just associate with uh, staying home sick from school, and it was just like <laughs> on all the time. True. Those are great figures. Uh, all right. That's it. Bret oh, Hart this? here. Who's that from? Uh, Is that to 10? Uh, Blake Feaser says, well, I bought another blaster. Thankfully, I did because I ended up pulling an insane 105 Bret to him and Hart Auto Gold Flash. Breaks have been less than successful on whatnot lately, but I have been two for two on the pulling of big boy cards from blasters. Nice. All right. And then the last one, Eamon Merrigan. Great story here. I had to put this one in. Grading and slabbing of various collectibles gets talked about a lot around here. I've been a collector since before grading and slabbing was a thing, but I've never taken the initiative to have it done until now, that is. 20 years or so ago, Eminem and his mother were really on the outs. During that time, Eminem's mom was selling anything of his she could find around her house. I bought Eminem's first professionally manufactured music from her, the the a single, the cassette single for his group, Soul Intense first single. I also bought Eminem's first independently released solo album, Infinite, on vinyl from her. I've kept both factory sealed ever since and decided to get them graded and slabbed because the cassette may be the only remaining sealed copy. And the record is likely one of the only few sealed copies remaining. Only 250 of each were manufactured to begin with. They scored Damn. pretty well, 9.4 for the cassette and 8 for the vinyl. If you'd like to own one or both, head over to Golden Auction site and take a crack. Oh, that's Hey, nice. speaking of Golden Auctions, have you guys been watching the, the Netflix show? That's That was on like eight months ago, bro. Oh, I didn't know about it, didn't hear about it. I just watched episode one and two. Yeah, it's a listen, fun little watch. It's Listen, I mean, it's so set it's up. It's reality and TV. It's fake and over-dramatized, but it's very interesting. It's very yeah. interesting. Yeah. Man, I still wish like our toy show would have taken off because I wanted it to be not cookie cutter. Like, yeah, but in your mind it's going to be like that. But the people flipping the bills might not yeah, want it to be like that. True. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that that M and M stuff is un- unbelievable. Cool. Yes. And also could be worth so. And I like your little plug to go bid on it. So, I have a question. <laughs> smart man, e- Iman, are you uh, building a brand behind Broski's back? <laughs> okay. Yeah, Iman, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> All right. Uh, up next is the incarnation of domination. The incarnation of domination. The incarnation of domination. All right, the incarnation of domination is a weekly segment where a major mark. Choose the superstar. Mark surprises us, and then we uh, try to figure out our favorite. All right, guys, what's your favorite Bastion Booger figure? Go. He has a Jack's class of superstar. Oh shit, he does. Damn it. Uh, similar, actually. Christy Giovanni says 
King Kong Bundy. I reviewed the list Woo. and he's never been done. He's had a wide variety of figures, which is true over the years, and most Very recent true. zombie I'm heels and faces. Bust out the Google. Uh, I got some great visuals for you here. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's rock and roll here. All the King Kong Bundy figures. All right. Well, I mean, the LJN, of course, is my, it might be my winner. You could kill somebody with that, <laughs> that King Kong Bundy. Such so, so, a great figure, though. A weird looking pose, but it still works. I love all LJN poses are weird. <laughs> you know, if you think about it that way, I abs- I broke many a LJN ring with uh, Hogan slamming him. You know, because it would just crack that ring because I was doing <laughs> so hard. Uh, and of course, he has the thumb wrestler. He has the bendy. He has the stretch wrestler. Um, the you know, full onslaught of LJN eighties products. Huh? Yes, I totally forgot about the figures Inc. King Kong Bunny, which I think which is great, is figure, iconic. Actually. I I oh, have God, that King that Kong Bunny stretch wrestler. I have that King Kong Bunny FTC in my miscellaneous because it it really did start that that line of figures. I didn't get them all at the time. I didn't get any of them, but there must have been like version, bigger plans because like he's a unique mold to himself, and he's the first one. Yeah, and then it kind of never you know takes off like that. They use the same two bodies like over and over for everybody. That this bloody version looks like it looks like scary. Like Mark oh wait, Bunny. there's there's three bloody. What's there's yeah, three versions. He, so those original cardings, he came first. Okay. And then it became like a thing, and With then the I brick think wall? they made. Yeah, and then they made the you know. Uh, I'm today's years old when stuff. I realize oh, there's a glow in the dark. There's a couple glow in the darks and baggies. Oh yeah. well, I don't need that one. That's my no. least favorite one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, he has a Jack's Classic Superstar, which is just way too fat. Uh, too fat. The elbow pads is stupid. Weird taint area. I mean, it's, it's just, just horrible. All those big guys, they made way they too were big. So, they just reused Yokozuna's body like 100 times for people just, that didn't deserve uh, it. Yeah. Just way too big. Uh, similar, he's in that three-pack with uh, Nikolai Volkov. Same and figure, Sheik. I believe, right? Is it identical? I'm almost sure it's the same exact figure. Not quite sure about that. It looks like the singlet's a little. Yeah, I'm go back to that other one. He's got less of a camel toe in the one. Oh, that, yeah, the singlet other. does look different in that picture. <laughs> Not quite sure though. Uh, what else? Oh, the 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 legends King Kong Bundy, and this is the only Mattel Bundy, correct? It mm-hmm. is, and it was a Maddie Shop Collector exclusive. It's a great figure. It has a King Kong Bundy T-shirt. It, uh, but this is before interchangeable hands, so he can't. He's not doing the five. You know, he's not doing anything. I, just I, two uh, close fists. I like this figure. I just hate soft goods singlets. So, yeah, that's yeah. not it turns me off. And okay, he's got the the micro brawler doing the five. I like that. Pretty cool. Now, King Kong Bundy. You know, he has eyebrows in that that WrestleMania uh, eleven style run. Who's another guy? King Kong Bundy did not get a Hasbro. Could have got a Hasbro. Or Hasbro's, do- or Hasbro's done by then. Well, it's 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 uh, he's right there fixed on the it. cusp. Yeah, zombies fixed and it right on the cusp. And then zombie fixed it. He has the the uh, right there doing the five. Has the eyebrows. It's the heels and face is incredible. And then he has the upcoming. That that head looks a little too tiny on that it's one. It's a the prototype. Upcoming I watched all of it. That's from Zombie's video with Sam Roberts. Okay. Which, if you want to educate yourself on uh, heels and faces, watch that video. It's great, actually. What's this right here, Mark? Slam Buddy? Uh, I'm not sure. It yeah. looks like the Slam Buddy art. But who? Yeah, Slam Buddy. Those? Sorry, sorry. 2023 Slam Buddy. Yep. Who would be selling those? I don't know. Uh, so really, not that many King Kong bunnies, I mean, but th- kind of a lot. Yeah, I guess. Uh, that's that's an unreleased King Kong Bundy motorcycle that you're showing right there with the with the the Bendy figure, mm-hmm. bro. I wouldn't mind making a a Ben uh, Major Bendy's King Kong Bundy. Yeah, with the eyebrows. Hey, he's one that like is back to what we were talking about earlier in the show. That a, to do a, a big rubber guy would be so tough because the one the other one is like iconic. It is one of the more accessible ones to come by. And like, how do you even like improve on that? You know, no, I, I wouldn't touch King Kong Bundy and the Big Rubber Guy, but for Major Bendy's, I would. Yeah, 
I, I, honestly, the Zon, I know we sound like such a shill, but the heels and faces is the runaway winner for me, man. Oh, 100%. Ian McNeil says if he stays at WWE for a little longer than the 90s, maybe he gets a bone cruncher and That's a Yokozuna right body. There. True. Yeah, he's right there. 95, 96 is, you know. If he had like one more like feud, you know, towards the end. Yeah. Mm. I, I dig it. I think my favorite, though, due to nostalgic, is 100%. The- LJN's series. Oh, oh, I'm going with heels and faces. Yeah, really? Faces. It's unbelievable. It's just yeah. so good. It's like yeah. I'm going LJN, King Kong Bundy. Could be better. All right. Up next, the QA brought to you by Blue Chew. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Guys, if you're feeling your age more than you used to, especially in the bedroom, it's time to snap out of it. Blue Chew is what you need to perform where it's most important and perform in a major way. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. Blue Chew's tablets help men achieve harder, stronger erections to combat all forms of ED. Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. And it ships right to your door in a discreet package. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part? It's all done online. Blue Chew's licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and strength for your prescription. Don't like swallowing pills? No problems here. Blue Chew's Sildenafil and Tadalafil tablets are chewable. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and they prepare and ship direct, so it's cheaper than the pharmacy. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we've got a special deal for our major marks. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code MAJOR at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code MAJOR, to receive your first month free. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Chelsea Green right now is at Monday Night Raw. So what am I going to do? This poor woman. I'm going to find out what time her, her flight lands. Yeah. I'll say, babe, don't worry. I'll wake up early. I'll pick you up from the airport. But what I'm really going to do. Yeah. Have some eggs and some blue chew. Yes, yes. <laughs> the creep pick up from the airport. Your face right now is- you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Great plan, Broski. Yeah, it's gonna plan. be a what good a morning, a little afternoon delight. Yeah. Oh, baby! All right, we're at the Q and A here. Uh, what, are we do- what are we doing? All right, major marks who are live in our our chat. Uh, ultimate members, they're asking us a question. If we read their question on air, we're gonna send them a little prize. Mark, who's the first question? Andrew Hurst, NECA, is going to make a new toy line of highly detailed figures based on any childhood favorite movie. What movie do you pick, boys? Mine's easy. Uh (laughs) I'm I'm with boys. Boys. (laughs) Come on. How is this not going to get us flagged on YouTube? That's why I shut it off right there, pal. (laughs) Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, detailed Kevin Costner with tons of fucking things pieces the bow the knife the sword the the necklace maybe wow. maybe you take the the clothes off he's got a non-tanned ass I, my answer to this <laughs> i think it's gonna be it's my imagination so bear with me i think it should be for me like 90s comedy movie people like a happy gilmore figure but not oh. like a happy gilmore line it's just a happy gilmore right and I then gotcha. i get farley as tommy yeah. boy like things like that yeah that oh would that'd be great suffice be for great. me that would make me happy wayne's uh, world uh, wayne's world set there we go yeah. the two oh, of them bro yeah. oh bang I'm get, get that broken record uh monster squad is still my fantasy yeah and if you can't make if the kids aren't on the table just at least the monsters. NECA does a great job with monsters, especially the Universal monsters. And these are slightly different from the Universal monsters. So I think they would sell uh, not just the people who like the Monster Squad, but fans of monsters. So I think there would be like a double audience for these. 
Um, but listen, we've uh, full disclosure. I've tried to figure out who has the rights to merchandise. I wanted to make major bendies. I even went to Andre Gower, who fucking is Sean in the movie. He doesn't know who has the rights. I don't think anyone knows who has the true rights to make the figures. I also don't even know if they could make the monsters because there was mm -hmm. a big ordeal with the universal monsters and the trademarks. So I don't even know if it'd be possible. Yeah. But that is my fantasy um, is the monster squad. Great question, Andrew. All right, Aaron. Brandon says, with the return of TNA, do you think a Mattel, a Mattel slash Jazzware scale line available only on, uh, online could be profitable with the TNA license? If so, please fantasy book the first wave of six. I mean, this was going to happen with it's Cella Epic. It's happening any day now. We'll be able to spill yeah. the beans, but hang tight, y'all. It's happening. Hang tight. So, so and there I, will and be. It's even more exciting for me. And I was excited about the potential of an impact line, but now that it's a TNA wrestling line, I think that's just super exciting. Bro, I was looking at your your um, your PowerCon exclusive with that impact esque packaging, mm -hmm. and like, how great would it be if they did something like that again? <laughs> it would be cool. Yeah, like, I, I mean, but now they can actually make it say impact. I don't have yeah. confirmation, but it seems like. They're used. They're just going to use that logo. Like nothing's changing. Like it's not like a yeah. new TNA logo or anything. Like it's right. pretty, pretty no, cool. You got no. If you're going to go, go old yeah. school. So um, very exciting. The the, re, the live and Broski can attest this. The live reaction to that announcement was pretty freaking cool, man. It was really cool no, to be a part it of. Was, and the, the online reaction as well. I don't. I didn't that see too. one negative thing about right? it. Right. I know. What was the thought process? I, I, do you know? Uh, just a lot of things. I think, like, dude, I'll, I'll admit it. Like. I've worked for TNA, I mean, for sorry, Impact for four years now. And if I meet somebody who's like a casual fan or not a fan at all, and they'd be like, where do you wrestle now? I'll say, oh, I'm with Impact Wrestling. And then they'll give me like a, huh? And I go, it used to be called TNA Wrestling. They go, oh, I mean, I have this conversation. I'm not getting once a week. Yeah. So oh, Okay, that makes sense. It's just like. Name recognition, period. The name recognition has just never gone away. And I think. When it went away, the reason was because it had that LOL TNA stink on it and the connotation of, you know, TNA, what that could mean. But honestly, that that's such a passe like term, like nobody even says that anymore. That would be stupid. And now I think it's been so long, it's like nostalgic and like people are reminiscing and, you know, craving it almost. So it, I think it's a great decision for the company. Yeah. I mean, uh, I was there for two years on a handshake deal, but I still follow the product, I think, and just went back this week for, for Bound for Glory. The locker room, I would put that locker room against any other locker room in the world, and I think the actual television shows, if someone sat down and watched the show, is a great show. It makes sense. The storylines, like, they bleed into each other. They continue. They don't just drop. Now, I'm sure you can find me an exception of one that just dropped off. But for the most part, I think the shows really flow, and it just needs people to give it a chance, and I think this might be it. I mean, this is not something I would have suggested, because it didn't even pop in my brain. You know, it's just like such a great idea. I was, when I found out, I was shocked. Yeah. I was like, really? But, but I, I wasn't think, I wasn't I was happy. You know, I was just yeah, shocked. I think that, it's a it's a it's something I wasn't expecting or thinking about, but now that it's happened, I think this is fucking genius. Yeah. You know, I think for so long they were trying to escape something that deep down they were always gonna be TNA. You're totally so, right. So why why Trying to hide it? from it. Yeah. Why not embrace it? Especially, you know, they just had, uh, you know, Slammiversary and they're showing all these clips. They're all, it's all TNA, 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 TNA. So it's kind of confusing. Dude, the history is rich. You, know? you can't deny it now. It's 20 right. plus years, man. And I mean, just like the, the, the guys and girls who came from TNA, who, you know, Samoa Joe going for the AEW world title is a TNA guy. You no, know, AJ Styles, top guy WWE, TNA guy. Sting. So, Sting. Sting is Sting. like a TNA guy at this point, yeah, man. Like, Christian Cage, TNA. Yeah, yeah. He's still using that TNA music. <laughs> there's a whole there's a TNA stable at AEW with Sanjay and Double J and friggin' Lethal. Like, come on. So yeah, TNA I'm, I'm is excited. Really, and, and then hey, the other thing that's super cool, it all kicks off in twenty twenty four in Las Vegas at the Palms, like live on pay per view, like with a massive, you know, show. So that's probably gonna be a, a well attended 
well watched show. Yeah, and absolutely. I'll say, as we saw in our own thing, new eras, fresh starts, very popular. Like yeah. like Brian was telling me, and I heard from you know other people like, oh TNA or Impact, it's got to do like a little relaunch thing in January. I'm thinking like, what the fuck are they gonna do? What's gonna be so fucking different? That's what I was. <laughs> and then okay, well now this fucking Vegas called TNA, it's a big fucking deal. Yeah, you know, and I think I think what's so great about it is because it's gonna have a lot of hype, but they've been delivering and they're going to continue to deliver. And especially on that night, hard to kill. They're going to deliver. And listen, I have no, <laughs> I have no stake in this game. And I, have, I don't fucking work there at all. <laughs> but I think, you know, from being there and seeing how great the shows in the locker room are that now with this name change, I think a lot of people are going to watch it and give it a chance and be like, Oh shit. What have I been missing? That's cool. So what, not what's the, what's not the what's question they people? asked, but <laughs> we didn't um, answer the question. What's this, you gave, you guys gave a better line? answer. Because you get a better answer. You want to do the um, toy line or? Yeah, let's see. I mean. Okay. Oh, well, I'm going to put myself in. That's fair. That's fair. Then my tag team partner, Moose. No question. Jordan, period. Jordan Grace. Deanna Perrazzo. Yeah. I would do, just out of principle, the four that got fucked. Deanna, Jordan, Eric Young. I'm sorry. No. Deanna, Ed, Jordan. Eddie. Eddie, Eddie and, and Moose. Moose. Yeah. And then Brian and Frankie. Well, I'll take my, I'll sacrifice myself for uh, the Motor City machine guns. They'd be cool. Yeah. Okay. They haven't had figures in thirteen years. All right. <clears throat> Chesley Gobar says, "Book a Disney slash wrestling crossover line. Fab Five classic characters go nuts. So, like, Undertaker would be goofy or something like that, right? Holy <laughs> shit! Who are the, the fat fa- guys? Help me out. Who are the fat guys? Mickey, Minnie. Minnie. Donald, Daisy, Goofy. and Pluto. Wait, Goofy. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I don't Puzzle. think Daisy's in. I don't think Daisy's in it. Mickey, yeah. Minnie, Donald, Goofy, and Pluto. Pluto? Yeah, yeah but, there's no way so Daisy's in, right? Daisy's, Daisy's, uh, Daisy's like in it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are we doing we, Major Pod or are we doing what are we wrestling? Doing? Yeah. Uh, I, I was imagining like WWE. Right, so, so they like they would Cena's, have the, Cena's Mickey, Cena, Cena's Legends, Mickey. Sure, Mickey, sure, Cena's Mickey, hands down, Cena's Mickey, Cody uh, Donald. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or, or maybe make maybe make Cody Mickey and then and uh, no, Cena's got to be Mickey. Well, Roman's the big dog; he could be Pluto. Yeah. Oh! Oh, that's yeah. sick. Good one. Uh, Good one. Um, Mini. Maybe maybe Becky. She's like the most There's recognizable. Becky right? or Charlotte. Yeah. And then Goofy. Hmm. Sammy Zayn. <laughs> Sammy Zayn's a good Goofy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. All right, all right. Before we go, Major Pod. Major Pod. I mean, Swaggles Pluto, like I said. Uh, okay. I, I, I'm gonna be Mickey because Brian doesn't like Disney, so by default. I, I, okay. Yeah, then I Fine. guess I have to. Be then Donald. you have to be Donald. Donald. Yeah. So I, I guess I'm Goofy. Yeah, nice. <laughs> uh, and Chelsea's, Minnie, Chelsea's, uh, Chelsea's Chelsea's Minnie. Minnie. Yeah. Can't be SDL. She's married now, so she's Jesus Christ, right? Oh, oh, Kissing on Twitter. Get it's crazy. Hey, hey, I said, ah, pump the brakes, SDL. Man. Jesus Christ. Oh, what I, happened I to do... kayfabe and new relationships at wrestling? <laughs> I do love Mance. Doesn't she know you're supposed to just lie to everyone until you get caught? They're just Listen, telling everyone. Mance is a figure guy. He came on Bruising with the Toys. But, man. I don't, listen, I'm happy for both of them. But, Jesus Christ. It's <laughs> zero to 100, pal. You know? There's life in the fast lane. Let him breathe. <laughs> but I think I, I heard on WrestleZone that Mance <laughs> is just dating SDL to butter me up to get to the Major Bendy's line. Oh. <laughs> I heard they told Lauderdale just one room for now on. Oh, and Lauderdale was like, thank you. <laughs> that cheap Unreal. fuck. Unreal. All right. Good well, sec. <sighs> up next is good housekeeping. All right, guys. YouTube.com slash Major W Pod. Subscribe. 
There's so much cool stuff up there now. My Australia vlog, me and SDL uh, go to Tokyo uh, Disneyland. Brian went to Toy Fair. He went and Comic Con, Comic Con, two separate vlog skis, and uh, and now this Kane County Toy Show one. So three in a row, baby. Pretty damn bare minimum, cool. my ass. Check those all out, and guys, don't forget the Christmas episode, Christmas morning here on YouTube. Superstars one through nine, the Bone Crunchers. It's going to be incredible. ProWrestlingTees.com slash Major WF Pod. A lot of cool stuff up there. We might need to add some pillowcases. Who knows? But there's a lot of cool stuff. We'd love to add some damn pillowcases. Those are We're cool working as hell. on a nice new hoodie on Pro Wrestling Tees. Should we? Let's just say it. Major Pod clothing going out of shut business. Down. Going out of going business. Going out of business, guys. Uh, what? My man Danny Causes, he's doing so well in like bulk order stuff that he does on a reg that he's shutting down all his online stores. So if you have your eye on something, a major pod clothing, I suggest you order it this like, week, right like now. Like today, because the site could be gone tomorrow. I don't know. Guys, I cannot tell you, I cannot stress enough how good the jacket is for that there, like warm up suit. I'm literally wearing an entire outfit of that stuff on my trip tomorrow, you know, my nine hour flight to freaking i might buy a new, a new jacket just a half yeah have two. yeah so listen if you're gonna buy from there buy it now because we're just gonna be on uh pro wrestling tees from now on which we love pro wrestling tees yeah, we love wrestling tees, but it was fun to have major pot clothing as yeah. an alternative so it's only gonna be up there for a couple more days so check that out major pod merch guys the last day friday to get your your macho man and your andres the pre-order is the order there's still some major bendies i think there's some ecw bloody ones up there still uh check those out major pod merch.com wildcat belts get an exact copy an exact copy of the fwf or the major pod titles uh get those from wildcat belts whatnot brian and i every monday whatnot we go on we sell action figures we sell ring worn gear we sell whatever sometimes i sell paper towels get that made <laughs> we'll see broski do some weird stuff on there guys you should check it out what not every single monday uh the premier streaming network make sure you check us out the premier streaming network uh we have all our fwf shows live uh 12 through 17 and guys live 18 is january 7th Sunday, January 7th, Tin Roof, Orlando. Tickets will go on sale soon, but I also want you guys to put this into your calendar now. Live 19, Thursday, April 4th, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We signed the contract today for the venue. It will be at Dave & Buster's. WrestleMania. It's going to be extreme, baby. So make sure you check out both those shows. Of course, Major Rewind J. George killing it. If you've just listened to the Major Rest of Your Podcast, if you just found us on YouTube, like, what the fuck are these guys talking about? <laughs> Check out Major Rewind. Every two weeks, J. George does a hell of a job. Where are you at this weekend, Broski? I am at NWA Pay Per View this Saturday. I will be in the house of Deathmatch King. I don't know if I have a match. I don't know if I have a promo. I don't know what Whoa. I'm doing. But oh, I will always ready. be there. Always ready. Always ready. Well, I am leaving tomorrow for a week-long Impact Baby. Wrestling UK invasion. October 26th, Glasgow at the O2 Academy. I believe that will be um, a TV taping. The next day, October 27th, we're filming Turning Point, a pay-per-view. Newcastle, the Walker Dome. October 28th, Coventry. And October 29th, Coventry. And I believe one of those is sold out. So... If you guys wow. want to check out Impact Wrestling for the first time in eight years, if you happen to be wow. backpacking That's awesome. to the European area, come and see us. Uh, we got an awesome crew going over there. So I'm very excited. And I will be an absolute shell of a man on this show next week when I get back in because I I'll, can't wait. we'll probably be home all of 45 minutes and we'll record. Well, Brian, you might need one of two things. One could be the always ready pre workout. <laughs> get that at novafarm.com. Or if you've been drinking on the plane, you want to continue your drinking, get your always red wet <laughs> red wine, DocuPointWines.com. And this I just got. It's <sighs> on MacaronMerch.com by Tipsy Shiz. Look at this. It's a little sandy. It looks like the Deathmatch King. Turn around. It's the Indie God. These little standees. Look at that. You can put it right on your beer can. You can put it wherever you want. 
<laughs> but get it. <laughs> Matt Cardona merch dot com. Look at That's that. Indie cool. God. Deathmatch King. This guy wow. does a hell of a job, so check nice. those out. Hey, this weekend AEW is at the Mohegan Sun, which what? is in my Home backyard. Game. Home I get, game. Oh I get God. the drive in and you big plans bicycle. this week. Tony Nese defeated Ethan Page fair and square. Okay. Huge Wait, wasn't win. Wasn't Ethan Page undefeated on the Ring of Honor? Yeah, we snapped that winning streak Ouch. right oh, in half. What now time that means- was that match filmed? Midnight? <laughs> Julian, Julian, <laughs> Julian's not going to like that. Oh, I don't, actually, I think that was pretty early, so we had a, we had a good spot. Okay. Uh, celebration planned uh, for, for Connecticut with a big win. So That's awesome. awesome. We'll see you guys. Hey, there. when you're in Connecticut, you go to Stanford to beat up a Jade. <laughs> oh, maybe she'll be there. Yeah, maybe get her back. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, we're out of the line. See ya! One, two, three! I'll be back, Jack! Join the community at MajorMarks.com and get access to exclusive content, behind-the-scenes footage, and become a member of the Major family. You get bonus episodes on our careers, wrestling figure history, and exclusive interviews with our friends and legends in the business each month. You also get early access to YouTube videos and, of course, the weekly podcast ad-free and breaking news updates. Brand new shows featuring... Come on! Oh, baby. And you... Each month, you can interview someone in the wrestling business with the Captain's Log. Also, buy, sell, and trade in our exclusive Facebook community where people have become friends in real life. Certain memberships include merch like monthly trading cards and quarterly mystery gifts. Become a major mark and join MajorMarks.com today. <laughs>